Good morning, afternoon, or evening. It doesn't matter what time it is, you have chosen a great time to receive an encouraging message from the Word of God. We hope that these short messages will speak life into every one of your hearts and that you will be blessed by it. This is the LCC devotional series. Friends and family, welcome to our LCC Don't Watch Prayer. Today is our episode number three entitled Jericho March or Prayer March. I want to exhort from the book of Joshua, chapter 5, beginning from verse 13. And it came to pass, when Joshua was by Jericho, that he lifted up his eyes, and looked, and behold, a man stood opposite him with his sword, drawn in his hand, a soldier. Huh? And Joshua went to him and said to him, Are you for us or for our adversaries? So he said, the man said to Joshua, No! But as commander of the army of the Lord, I have now come. And Joshua fell on his face to the earth and worshipped and said to him, What does my Lord say to his servant? Then the commander of the Lord's army said to Joshua, Take your sandal off your foot, for the place where you stand is holy. And Joshua did so. This is Joshua's encounter with the commander of the Lord's army. Joshua is a warrior. He is brave. He is not afraid. He said, Who are you? Are you for us or against us? Are you for our adversaries or against our adversaries? The Lord, the commander of the Lord's army uh, said to Joshua, No, 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 Joshua. I will take over. And Joshua realized that he is the Lord. According to Bible scholar, they said that this is Christophany. You know, and, and Joshua, remember, this is not an ordinary angel. Remember that Joshua fell down and worship and 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 this person accepted the worship of Joshua and then uh, he gave Joshua a strategy a battle plan on how to conquer Jericho let me continue in chapter 6 verse 1 now Jericho was securely shut up because of the children of Israel none went out and none came in and the Lord said to Joshua see I have given Jericho into your hand his kings and the mighty men of valor. I, I love God's plan. I love God's promise. Before the battle begin, you know, he already gave Joshua a promise of victory. Before it begins, it's already done. You know, in the spiritual realm, in the mind and heart of God. Brethren, we are walking in victory in Christ because Christ already won the victory on the cross of Calvary over Satan and our spiritual enemies. Verse 3, You shall march around the city and you, will, and you, men of war, you shall go all around the city once. This, shall, this you shall do six days. So, <clears throat> for six days, they will march around one time every day. And seven priests shall bear seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark. But the seventh day, you shall march around the city seven times. At the last day, you know, they will march seven times on the seventh day. So, 13 times for seven days, marching around the wall of Jericho or the city of Jericho. And the priest shall blow the trumpets. At the end of their march, they will blow the trumpet. It shall come to pass when they make a long blast with the ram's horn. And when you hear the sound of the trumpet, that all the people shall shout with a great shout, then the wall of the city will fall down flat. The people shall go up every man straight before him. So I want to give you four things on how to march around your city, your community, or the place where God put you to bring down the stronghold in that city, in that community, or the place where you are residing, or your church located. So four things, you know, the victory that these people, Joshua and the Israelites, you know, experience in facing Jericho is found in Hebrews uh, chapter 11, verse 30. Hebrews 11, verse 30 says, By faith, the walls of Jericho fell after the people had marched around, around them for seven days. So these are the four things. Faith in, in spite of impossible situation. We need to believe God. We need to believe God's promise or promises. Even we have an impossible situation. An impossible mission, 
in your life, your family, your, your work, your, your ministry. It seems impossible. But believe that God will give you the victory. Number two, faith that follow God's plan. Not your own plan, not man's plan. Even it seems, seems impossible. Just like what I said, it, it, it seems it's strange. It's strange. Think about this plan. Marching, quietly, blowing the horn, and shouting. What kind of battle plan is that? That does not work. Jericho is a high wall and thick wall. Similar to the Great Wall of China, I have the privilege and my wife to visit China and visit the Great Wall. It's impossible to bring down that wall through mar- marching and blowing horn and-, and shouting, making some noise. It's a strange plan. But it is God's plan. Are you willing to follow God's plan? Joshua follow God's plan. Why? Because he encountered the commander-in-chief of the Lord's army, the Lord himself. And gave him this battle plan. And God put his name into this battle plan. He told them, let the, let the priests, seven priests, Levites, carry the Ark of the Covenant. What is the Ark of the Covenant? The symbol of God's presence. Basically, God is marching. You know? And they are following him. The army of Joshua. The people of God behind. See, God is the one who is leading them, marching around. So, if God give you a battle plan, God put his name into that battle plan. And he is the one who will fight, in, he will fight for us. And then number three, pray that, pray that God will give us the victory. Do you believe that God will give you victory? So you know, in, in 2 Corinthians, the, the Apostle Paul, or in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 57, 58, the Apostle Paul gave us an assurance of victory. Thanks be to God who always caused us into victory. In triumph, who lead us into triumph. Jesus Christ won the victory 2,000 years ago on the, on the cross of Calvary. On that cross, He defeated Satan and our spiritual enemies. So, victory is sure. Or do you believe? And then last, faith that expresses itself in persevering obedience. Joshua obeyed. The priests obeyed. The armies obeyed. The people obeyed. Think about that. Seven days. One week. Marching from morning probably to noon. Every day. Every day. Think about the first day. Nothing happened to the wall. The second way, nothing happened to the wall. The third day, nothing happened to the wall. The fourth day, the fifth day. But they persevere. They act on their faith. They obey. And then, on the seventh day, they shouted the shout of victory. And the wall fell, tumbling down. And they won the victory that day. God can bring down the stronghold in your life, in your area, to the people around you, if you will follow God's strategy and plan. Let us march. March for victory for Jesus in your area. God bless you.